Hello, Loveland Magazine. This is Cassie the Food Guru here, and we are in Nisbet Park in downtown Loveland, and we're talking about some epic picnics, okay? This is one of the newest businesses in Loveland. It's unbelievable. I mean, just look at this setup right here. I'm sure you could see yourself in one of these teepees. I know I could, obviously I'm here right now. So Amanda Erickson, owner. That's right. How does that feel to do something that you're completely passionate about? I mean, you majored in art, is that correct? Yep, that is correct. So let's talk about that. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you just decided, hey, you know what? I wanna do this epic picnic thing. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. So uh, my whole life, I've obviously been passionate about art and crafting and curating beautiful experiences. Amen to that. My husband, who is my business partner, Steven Erickson, he's a veteran, he served our country. He's just an amazing guy and he helped um, you know, make this possible for me. So with a mix of both of our backgrounds, sales, customer service, grinding, um, working hard every day, we conceptualized this somewhat during COVID um, because we really wanted to, to do something that we were passionate about. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And something that you said, Amanda, that, that really hit home for me when I was kind of looking over the information on your website, every day should be celebrated cherished and lived to the fullest that's right that's what you believe in absolutely right you Surrounded live Surrounded by family and friends amen you, know? you live in loveland you have a dog named butters Correct. you love butters we love butters tell me a little bit about your passion for the community and being active outdoors i know this kind of you know yeah kind of set up the model for you. Yeah, no, again, um, just like you mentioned, that really is our mission statement. So um, we've lived in Loveland now for about three and a half years. We we love it. My husband's originally from Ohio. I'm actually a bit of a transplant, but I'm quite happy a here. A transplant, I like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, I, we love the trail. We love the park. We love little, the little Miami. We have a niece and nephew down the street. And, you know, we plan to make roots and, and establish a family here as well. So we wanted to give something to the community that could be enjoyed outdoors with family and friends so see and yeah. that that's why I love this model and, and one of the cool things that I really like is she came from humble beginnings guys I mean her background right you, you managed a coffee and wine shop correct right and sales customer service yep. so that just shows you right here anybody can start a business you just got to have the work ethic Absolutely. you got to put in the time right Absolutely. so Tell me how you, I know you have another job, is that correct? Ideally. And you're trying to make this your full-time gig. Ideally. What are you doing to get yourself to that point? Yeah, absolutely. So another thing that we have been conceptualizing is, this is kind of where we're starting, right? So um, picnics with a small group, picnics with a large group. What we are getting into currently actually is micro weddings. Ooh. Um, yeah, as well as um, engagement parties for multiple folks. For instance, we have, you know, 20 and 30 uh pop you know people in, in, in a yeah, party coming yeah, up for sure. so definitely expanding into you know more than just two and four settings and which we've already done and then like i said eventual goal is you know sky's the limit what do you want and how can we bring that to you be that again like a micro wedding or, or a large engagement proposal birthday whatever we're we're down for it all so right yeah. right and and I, and I like too that you call it a luxury picnic experience yeah, yeah. i mean that right there makes me feel fancy well right it's not just you know a, it's not just a blanket and a basket right it's a lot more and and uh we we want to you know we have you know several things that kind of take it up a level right um, right fresh flowers lots of pillows uh food um just lots of different options to really kick it up a notch and let me ask this what inspires you each time you build one of these? I mean, like I said, you're in art, correct? Yeah, yeah. Do you do all this by yourself? The conceptualization, all that? I mean, that's that's impressive. I mean, this is this is next level. I mean, yeah, to be yeah. quite honest with you. No, um, it, it, it's a passion. And so what, what we usually do is, right, is when someone reaches out to us, hey, it's, it's a birthday party for a little boy or someone who really likes the color purple or um, we want chic, we want tropical. We just really try and gear that around. And I do have several different setups where I'm really stoked about is I have a Halloween setup and I cannot oh, wait. Man. I know. So, I, spooky season is my favorite. So, like, I can't wait to do, you know, oranges and blacks and pumpkins and tie all that in. But, yeah, I let the customer kind of guide me like let's 
mesh our visions together, right? Like, what do you want and, and how can I make that beautiful for you? Honestly, today is just kind of like my own personal taste. It, yeah. You know, elevated you taste. boho chic yep. realness, you know? So, but yes. but yeah, I kind of let the, the customer be my guide. Um, and I ask those questions ahead of time so that I can find out, you know, what do you like? What's your vision? Right. And how right. can we make that? All right, so as you can see, guys, right here, she has definitely given us the setup. The funny thing about that is Boho Chic is right up Stacy's alley. This is one of my best friends in the entire world, new mom, great person to experience this. My grandma's sitting over there as well. She comes to everything, and if you want somebody to judge your business, this woman will do it for you, okay? She'll tell you all the honesty, all, all the facts, everything you need to know. So that's why I bring her to be quite honest with Appreciate you. It. Yes, awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down in it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat. And Amanda, we're gonna have you show, show us around. Um, we're gonna talk about how are you gonna book this? How do you do that? Yeah. What different packages do you have? Hey, by the way, she has gift cards. You could always do that as an as a add-on gift as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now, guys. All right, and we're here and we're ready for this picnic setup. Amanda is bringing over the charcuterie board, one of the staples in her, her entire epic picnic setup. It's one of those things that is unbelievable. As you can see, look at the salami. I mean, it that's a rose, isn't it? A flower? Oh my gosh, <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. So uh, Amanda, what I want you to do is just kind of take us through this. Um, I kind of want to talk about how to book. Um, it, that's important, obviously, yeah. one of the big things. So you choose the perfect location. Let's go through that first step. So how do you go about doing that? Yeah, absolutely. And our website is honestly super user friendly. That's what I would recommend to go to if you really want to know all about every single package, every single add on, every single location option, which is really anywhere because we do things in homes and backyards as well. But we definitely have some favorite park locations. Um, so epicpicnic.com. And then also we're on Facebook, Epic Picnic, Instagram at Epic Picnic 513. So that's a great place to like check out kind of what we do and options and whatnot. So with that, just give the people, I would say, what are some good spots? Cause you know, some people they're like, well, I don't know where I want to go. What are some great spots to set up this beautiful elevated picnic? Yep. Um, so some of the most popular spots, we're at one right now, um, Nesbitt Park in downtown Loveland. Um, we are also loving to do things at Eden Park, Alt Park, Duvaux. We have some secret locations in Northern right. Kentucky yes. that have a really cool view of the city. Um, super like romantic, intimate kind of thing. Um, and again, like I said, we've got suggestions on the website, um, but we're actually um, going to do a new location that I've, I've never even used before. I'm excited about Mount Storm, and that's kind of north Pretty. of the city. So, you know, like I said, the use your imagination. If it's in the greater, you know, Cincinnati area, we can probably uh, make it work. See, so. I, and, and, and like she said, the sky's the limit. Limit. If you go on Epic Picnics, their website, you can see all kinds of different ideas. Everything from the Puppernick, right, right. Um, to the movie night. I mean, you have a movie night set up, which we're going to talk about, too. Yep. So that's kind of how you book it. And then you kind of go from there. You assist them, kind of set up everything. So, so a survey, yes. you know, that they, they can begin to fill out. So you kind of give me the baseline information on what it is that you're envisioning. And then from, from there, we'll talk or email and, and decide exactly what you're looking for. Several packages you know everything from a one hour experience with just the basics we have a two hour experience which does include the charcuterie board and then we have a brunch and experience that's for eight um, and it includes the teepee so that is one of our add-ons but that comes with the brunch experience um, and then a uniquely yours so again like just going back to the sky's the limit we can do just about as many folks or whatever it is that you want we'll uh, we'll use our imagination along with you so i love that okay so guys go ahead and dig in uh rock and roll let's start digging into the charcuterie board i'm going to kind of go more in depth about these picnics sure. um so the one hour picnic um this is really cool it includes the whole picnic setup right the rug the blanket the low table sure. Pillows, tableware, linens, decor, candles, flowers, yep. um, a personalized message board, which you yep. see yep. is right, down here. right over there. Yep. yep. 
Um, the grazing board, that's what we're at, the charcuterie board, grazing board, beautiful. Um, also comes with waters and an ice bucket is available upon request. Um, now, would you consider this kind of like the one hour or two hour uh, picnic setup? This is kind of what it would look like? Correct. Um, today, obviously, because we want to do it big for you guys, Amen. we have a couple of our extra add-ons. Okay. And so what that looks like is our fresh flowers. So they're over there on the table. The teepee, again, for the one and two hour would be an add-on, the teepee tent. Um, the balloon strand is an add-on great for like parties or again just because they're popular right now right amen to that those are i see those everywhere at every party i mean everything yep and then lastly i i do want to mention um our our partner uh our bakery partner sprinkles and dough bakery shop out of milford um and they partner with us for cupcakes mini cupcakes cute little six inch cakes cookies etc and that's another thing that um again we can provide you all the information for when you reach out to us via um, um, our our website yes yes and, and you know guys that's just a couple of the add-ons right. honestly um a Umbrellas. couple yes Jenga jumbo, jumbo Jenga. Jenga like yeah, are you serious yes. donut wall yep that's another great brunch Holtman's right yeah Holtman's donuts a yes. local um yeah have the puppernick that we talked Correct. about yep. um one of the big things I want to talk about because I know the people would love this the luxury movie night Correct. You tell me all about that. I mean, that is unreal. Yeah. So I uh, just another thing we conceptualized, like I said, where, where, where are we at today and where do we want to go? Um, another thing that's big and on trend right now is, you know, the in-home movie theater setup. So if you've got a, a big backyard, if you're looking at uh, maybe your kid's birthday party, if you're looking at a romantic date night, really, again, sky's the limit, 140 inches. Woo. You can stream whatever you want on there. And it just, again, and you get the setup as well. So, uh, and, and with that one comes like, you know, fun, fun uh, snacks that go along with the movie theater, right? Popcorns and candies and, and things like that. So. And one thing with that that I found interesting is that it comes with customer Wi-Fi, yeah. right? Yeah. So you can do Netflix, YouTube, Prime, uh, YouTube TV, and last for three hours. Yeah. That's yep. unbelievable. Absolutely. Um, the other one that we, let's be real, this is popular, just brunching. Yep. That's another one. Who doesn't love a brunch? Yep. Um, hello, we all do, right, ladies? Mm -hmm. So brunch, <laughs> talk a little bit about that. Is that a popular one thus yeah. far? Yeah, absolutely. We have done a brunch uh, right here in Nesbitt, um, and we're getting ready to do a birthday brunch Ooh, in Alt Park, let's go. which I'm jazzed about. And again, so what you're getting with that is the grazing board, but then you also get personal fresh fruit for each person, a bagel and cream cheese for each person person mm. um and again that brunch in for eight setup does include either and you know again customizable our tp tent or our really beautiful like fringe again kind of like a boho chic feel umbrellas so i love the fringe yeah just to kind of again take it up a notch you know the elevation yeah, that's, that's what right. we're doing right? right all right so as you can see my lovely ladies over here they're starting to enjoy the picnic they're picking at the grazing board stacy i need to know what does this taste like? Tell me all about it. Well, everything is perfect. The cheese is amazing. The crackers are all different. So any flavor that you could want is literally on this board. Sometimes I'm picky with crackers. They have one for everyone. They're all great. The meat is wonderful. I live at the charcuterie board at parties, so this is my jam. I mean, you cannot go wrong. Everything on here is beautiful. The fruit is crisp and wonderful, and I just love it. <laughs> Um, wow, what a description. Are we hiring her for your next ad? <laughs> right? Like, oh my gosh. I, mean, I can't, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, yet. it's like, perfect. okay. Yep. Grandma. Yeah. The legendary grandma. How do you feel about the charcuterie board? I know you're about presentation too. You yeah. love all that. Tell yes, me about it. And if I made one, it would look pretty much just like that. It's got a little bit of everything. Uh, nobody doesn't like cheese. Everybody has to have cheese. There's hard garlic crackers or fruit gotta have fruit um, everything that you need is right there and it's quite tasty and what do you think about this picnic picnic setup ladies I mean I know I always drag you to all my stuff Graham yeah. I know I know you love you, it you don't drag me I come voluntarily <laughs> there you go there you go so tell me how how does like the vibe itself how are you feeling does this make you feel great like just tell me how you're feeling with this setup around you anybody can speak on that it, it's it's something different than I'm used to, and I enjoy uh, looking at different things, enjoying different things. Um, this is one thing that I would recommend for, especially nowadays with what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. It's a time to sit down and relax and enjoy each other's company and have a nice 
little snack. Amen to that. What do you think, Stace? Speaking from my generation, if if you know us, we like to take that Pinterest-worthy picture, that Instagram perfect picture, and this is literally that aesthetic that everyone wants and the fact that it can be tailored to anything. I mean, you don't have to be in our generation to love it. It's beautiful for everyone, and if you want a different look, then she's got you covered. And so to me, this is, I love this, and this is really great. And the first thing I wanted to do was take a picture and, you know, post it, get yep. the word out, because it's amazing. And yeah. I mean, this this whole idea is just perfect for anywhere, any place. I mean, you could take this nationwide. Don't let anyone steal your idea, but no. this is she's so pat- great. She's patenting it. <laughs> <laughs> LLC, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, Amanda, Yes. I mean, how do you feel after hearing that feedback? And they're honest. I'm telling you what, how do you feel about that feedback? Like I said, I, I don't even know what to say now because they they said it themselves and I greatly appreciate that. And like I said, I, I just am excited to, to bring this to our our town, our area, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity, so thank you. Absolutely. Now, Amanda, something I like to do at the end of every interview with the food guru here, because, you know, a sister loves food. By the way, she caters to dietary restrictions. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm vegan, and that was the first question she asked, dietary restrictions. I appreciate that, so I know you do that. Thank you for doing that. So I do my quick fire questions. Yes. Three questions. Right. You answer them. They're not going to be like, you know, what's your social security number? Okay, okay. I'm not going to ask you that. So, first question. Yes. Where do you see yourself, your family, your business in five years? What are your goals? Yeah. Um, I mean, again, I, I see my husband and I growing a family in this area because we are passionate about our community um, and, and growing this business along with it. You know, we have nieces and nephews that are interested in, um, you know, being a part of our business and just sharing that with them. And again, like I said, taking it to the next level, right? We want to get to those big event plannings. We're, we're, you know, we're going like this right now, but we just got to keep going upward. So again, weddings, micro weddings, large parties, large birthday parties etc we want to we really want to take it that level so I love that now describe your business in one sentence I know it's a tough one you're on the spot but I know you got it in you yeah sure I mean you know it is an elevated customizable picnic experience for you to share with your friends and loved ones Yes. Yes. That was impressive. A lot of people get stumped on that one. They're like, what? I'm like, it's okay. You're not being tested. I just want to know your opinion. Um, Final one. And I love this one. And this is where you look into the camera and you speak to our people. Why do you love Loveland? Yeah. Again, I already mentioned it, right? I am a transplant. I'm from Southern Illinois, right outside of St. Louis. Um, And I I miss my family and friends, right? But I have been here now for, like I said, just a little over three years, and I've never felt more a part of a community. Um, I live five minutes up the road, and I take my dog down here and walk my dog. I go here with my husband. I take my niece and nephew down here. Again, I just, I've felt so welcomed by the Loveland community, and again, to just be able to provide a service like this to the folks that live in my community, it's, it's kind of an honor, so. Great answers, great answers, some of the best. Don't tell everybody else, but. So we're gonna wrap things up because a sister needs to eat. Yes. I am hungry, I'm ready. Thank you so much, Amanda, You're Grandma good. and Stacy. Thanks for hanging out. I, I know it wasn't a burden. <laughs> I know you guys are enjoying yourselves. Um, obviously, Amanda has a crowd. You can't see them right now, but they're in the background. Everyone's here supporting. Thank you all for coming down. And guys, we're gonna get to eating. Thanks for hanging out with the food guru. We'll see y'all next time. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are.